Uh, hmm. Uh. Yeah, you read that title right. Um. Yeah. Nicolas Cage is, is, is Dracula. Nicolas Cage is going to be Dracula. Let me say this one more time. Nicolas Cage is going to be Dracula. I... I... <laughs> um... I... <laughs> what? I'm sorry, like... What? <laughs> I... Um... Yeah, I, on the list of shit I didn't expect to hear today, that was, uh... That was one of them. That was, uh... That was one of the things... I was not expecting to hear today. I was I was in no way, shape, or form expecting to uh, to hear today. I um, yeah. So let's let's get through this. So Nicholas, it's been announced today by Universal that for their new upcoming film Renfield, Nicholas Cage will be playing Dracula. Yeah. Their next Universal monster movie, alongside The Wolfman, which sadly, Lee Wan l will no longer be directing. Um, the other Universal monster film they are doing is Renfield. And I've been meaning to talk about the Renfield film the Renfield film for a while. I've been meaning to talk about it, but mostly because the reason why I didn't talk about it is like, well, there's not enough there, and I'm like, this kind of gave me the open door to be like, all right, I'm gonna talk about Renfield. I'm gonna talk about the Renfield movie. So the Renfield movie is um, the ne a Dracula film that is not centered around Dracula. It is going to be centered around his um, servant uh, Renfield. Who, if you guys if you guys know the book, at least it's not Tom Cruise. But up, up, my dad. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, Renfield is essentially, uh, if you guys remember the book, he was the, the first person that Dracula had encountered and turned into a, well, didn't make him a vampire, but basically drove him insane, and that would lead to John Harker going to Romagna to, uh, encounter Dracula and lead to the event. So this is kind of like a Dracula prequel, essentially. Like, this is building build up as a Dracula prequel. And if I remember right, the person playing Dracula, excuse me, Renfield is Nicholas Holt, and it is being written by several of the writers from Rick and Morty. And then when you add Nicholas Cage to the role, I'm like, are we sure this, they said it's not a comedy? But are you sure it's not a comedy? Because it's starting to feel like a comedy. <laughs> like that. Now, in all fairness, in all fairness, I am very happy to see. Um, Nicholas Cage back in with a major studio because he's been basically doing due to, you know, the amount of money he spends, he's been basically making a lot of um, out there independent projects, such as you know, Willy's Wonderland and if you if you also want to check out a really cool one, go check out Prisoners of the Ghost Land. It features um, him, Bill Mosley and my movie crush Sofia Batella. Yeah, that woman, who most of you guys would know best, is in that horrible Tom Cruise mummy movie as the mummy. God, she is hot. Anyway, um, that movie is insane, by the way. Prisoners of the Ghost Land. It's, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Anyway, so I have a feeling that maybe Universal was like, hey, people really like Nicolas Cage. Let's ask him to come back to a major studio. Now... Universal has been very big on its Universal monsters, and with a good reason. Obviously, the Invisible Man did very well. And then we have um, the upcoming Wolfman movie, with uh, which was going to be done by Lee Wanell. He left the project, sadly. It's still got people attached to it, so waiting to see how that goes. We also do have a Dracula film in the works at Universal, um, from my belie uh, from I believe... I forget her name, but it is under a female director. 
So I'm wondering where... The, but Renfield is the one film that has been kind of, like, getting the most generated hype. Like, that's the film that's been mostly, like, the gears have been really turning. Aside from The Wolfman, there's also Angelina Jolie's um, Bride of Frankenstein movie, which is also in development hell. But the two that have been really, like, getting the motors going are this and The Wolfman. Even though The Wolfman has lost its director, the, the gears are still going. But Renfield seems like the next movie that is going to come out. Now, uh, but again, like, of all the people you could have gotten to play Dracula, Nick Cage. Now, Nick Cage has said this is the one role he's always wanted to play. He was, he is a massive fan of um, Nosferatu. And um, he's also a fan of Bela Lugosi's performance as Dracula. Do I think he's going to be a good Dracula? If you give him the right stuff, I do think he is... Like, we have seen him as a vampire before, but, uh... <laughs> Dracula, he was not. <laughs> but I do think Nicolas Cage is a stickler for uh, for honoring roles. And I think since he is a fan of, like, Max Schreck's performance, as well as um, Lugosi's performance, I do think he is going to treat this with respect. I don't... Uh, but it is still Nicolas Cage... <laughs> Nicholas Cage is fucking Dracula. I don't know whether that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I am... Needless to say, I am cautiously optimistic about the whole damn thing. I, li I like Nicholas Cage. I really do. I like him as an actor. And I'm actually excited that he's getting to do a major film. And to see more Universal Monster stuff. But is he Dracula? Right now, I say no, but, like, he could surprise us. Um, and again, like, he has a lot of... He has done enough... This is the one role he's always wanted to play. Um, yeah, but, like, okay. All right, give... What the hell? Why not? Like, you got nothing to lose. <laughs> you got nothing to lose here, Nick. You got, you've got nothing to lose. Anyway, so, other than that, like, I am ex interested in the Renfield film, and it's not the only Dracula film we'll be getting in the future. We are getting a film on the Demeter, which is a film, which is a story that's going to be set in, from the Demeter, for those who don't know, the Demeter was the boat that Renfield put Dracula on, and Dracula killed all the uh, crew members on the boat, on the ride to London. So there's like m weeks of sto or like story right there you can tell. Um, which they did kind of do in Stephen Moffat's Dracula, which I actually like of the two of the three episodes. It was like the high point. It was like, eh, eh. <laughs> just like that. But all in all, really excited. Like I'm cautiously optimistic. Let's put it like that. Let's, I'm cautiously optimistic about all of this. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Nick Cage being Dracula for Universal's next movie? We we went from Luke Evans to Nick Cage. <laughs> oh, God help me. <laughs> anyway... So just comment below, let me know, and once again, if you haven't already, go check out my Patreon um, in the link in the description below, and just tell me if you guys like this idea, do you guys hate it, just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.